Hi, I'm Randy. What's been in more TV shows and movies than Elvis Presley, Steve McQueen, and the late Paul Walker? Well, you're looking at it. Introducing the 2020 Toyota Supra. It's been in over 78 TV shows and movies, plus video games like Gran Turismo and Need for Speed. The Supra starts at $50,000. Then the next level is the premium. That goes for $54,000. The last level up, is the rare premium launch edition. That one goes for $55,250. That one's super rare, but you can find it at Toyota of Cerritos. This one is the premium, and this one's fully loaded at $65,000. I'm gonna go through all the options and features of the car, then start it up and take it for a spin. So follow me and check it out. This car review wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for Auto Nation Toyota of Cerritos. They're one of the largest Toyota dealerships in Southern California and have over 2,000 new Toyotas available, including 15 Supras. Toyota of Cerritos was awarded the J.D. Powers 2019 Dealership of Excellence Award. Check out the dealership. Their information is in the link below. You won't be disappointed. This long clamshell hood is only found in a few cars today because of its complexity and design. All models get a 3.0 liter, six cylinder inline engine with a single twin scroll turbo pushing out 335 horsepower and 365 pound feet of torque. All that power goes to the rear wheels. With all that power, tuning, and a strong dependable ZF A speed single clutch transmission, it goes zero to 60 in just four seconds which puts it in line with the Porsche 718 Cayman S, the BMW M2, and the Tesla Model 3 dual motor long range. The new Supra has a combination of old and new designs. The nose, fenders, and upper bumper were influenced by the fourth generation Supra, while the lower bumper, central grille, and large intakes were taken from Toyota's Formula One race car. The new six lens LED headlights integrate both daytime running lights and turn signal to create a distinctive lighting signature for the new Supra. The Supra's cockpit is pushed back as far as it can go to get that near perfect 50-50 weight distribution for optimal handling performance. With large panels, large curves, and overlapping lines, this was one task Toyota was challenged with and did an excellent job. They wanted the A pillar and B pillar to be blacked out to give it a cleaner look. The basic and premium trim come with black side view mirrors and a side marker. These are the optional carbon fiber covers, which I would get. The Launch Edition comes with red covers. The rear's design is flawless with its sleek and angular LED taillights. Super wide rear stands for those wide ass 275 19 inch tires. The integrated spoiler produces 66 pounds of downforce at 90 miles per hour. The rear diffuser is functional and dual exhaust sounds exactly like a BMW Z4 M40i. The rear valence actually sticks out a couple inches from the bumper. Any damage on that, and you're gonna have to call BMW for the part. Just kidding, not really. If you didn't know already, Toyota partnered up with BMW to create this awesome Supra. The result for BMW is that they got a convertible Z4. The Z4 convertible is a cloth top and it has an optional four cylinder or six cylinder engine. This one comes with the awesome BMW inline six cylinder engine, but it's tuned with Toyota specification and some Toyota parts. The end result is that it's more dependable, reliable, tuned sports car that wouldn't have been built if it wasn't for this great partnership. The Toyota keeps its 10 cubic feet of trunk space just like the 2003 Supra. Yeah, right. It feels more like four cubic feet and it'll fit two carry-ons and no golf clubs. In the trunk, you'll find Toyota's emergency kit. Let's see how many Randys fit in here. The opening is kind of small and narrow, so you gotta be careful. 
um, loading stuff inside. And Kevin, if you're watching, I tr trying so hard not to scratch your car. They say it's 10 cubic feet, which is supposed to be larger than a Camaro or a Q50. Uh, let's see here. Uh, it's pretty tight. 10 cubic feet. Is that without the hatch? I just don't fit. This is the first car. Zero Randy's fit in here perfectly. I'm just taking a quick break. No YouTubers take breaks, man. Well, I want to say thank you to the general manager and Auto Nation Toyota of Cerritos for lending me this badass car. If it wasn't for them, I couldn't make these cool car reviews for you. So if you're looking for a Supra, a Toyota, or any car for that matter, give them a call and give them an opportunity to win your business. There's a reason why they're one of the top Toyota dealerships in the country. Oh, by the way, please click the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel. They love seeing those. It helps me get cars like these to review for you. The roof line has low overhangs, so you can hit your head hard enough to get a concussion and maybe get amnesia when you get in the car. And it's also for aerodynamics. The Supra is meant for racing. The roof line has a double bubble so you can wear a helmet when you race. Man, this car is so low. I might as well do this seat on my knees. I've seen so many reviews on how tight it is to get inside, but let me be the judge. I'm six feet tall. Let's see how hard it is to get inside and how comfortable it is once I get in. Ow! You gotta tilt your head, otherwise you're gonna knock yourself out. This thing is cuts kind of low, but once you get in, there's a lot of headroom. Not only that, but it's great for tall people. The steering wheel comes back far enough and there's a lot of leg space. Now the seats are not too firm, which makes a great daily driver as well as great for long trips. These seats look, smell, and feel just like a BMW sports car. They look fantastic and super comfortable. Full leather seats with Alcaterra inserts come standard on the base trim. The Launch Edition and Premium trims get full leather seats. All trims get 14-way adjustable seats, memory functions, lumbar support, and bolster adjustments. Heated seats, wireless charging, full color heads-up display, a JBL 12-speaker sound system, and a 9-inch touchscreen display come in the Premium and Launch Edition. The basic trim comes pretty fully loaded, but for a little more money, upgrade to the Premium or Launch Edition. You get so much more. Build your car today by clicking the link below. It's really easy. The instrument panel is super easy to read and use. There aren't really any options to customize it. The digital display is on the left of the tachometer with essential gauges surrounding it. This Supra comes with the driver assist package. The buttons on the left are for the dynamic radar cruise control, blind spot monitoring, parking sensors, and buttons to control the digital screen. Behind that is a paddle shifter, turn signal stock, automatic high beams, and before Christ button. I'm just kidding. I'm not sure what BC stands for, but it changes the information displayed on your instrument cluster. To the left of that, you have an air vent and buttons for the lights. To the right, you have a roller and buttons to control the infotainment system, phone, radio, and volume controls. Behind that, you have a paddle shifter and windshield wiper stock. Attached is a nine inch touchscreen monitor, BMW air vents, radio buttons with an actual knob for the volume, and air controls with dual climate controls and heated seats. Below that, you get Toyota's QI wireless system, real carbon fiber panels, a USB port, and a 12 volt outlet. This is the new BMW transmission gear shifter that's found its way in the new Supra. It's fancy and easy to use. The infotainment knob looks familiar as well. BMW's workmanship is one of the best in the business, so it's in Toyota's best interest to take full advantage of it. Everything looks and feels premium. Without BMW's partnership, the Supra would just be an upgraded Toyota 86. Look where they place the cup holders. It's super awesome. The creativity is there. My elbows go in there too. The infotainment system is elementary. Just point and shoot. The navigation is high definition. Really nice to look at. You can actually leave it on while you have a friend in the car and he or she will not make fun of it. Vehicle settings is where you can customize your car's lights, safety options, and individualize your performance modes. And this is what I love so much. There are only two performance modes for each option, sport and normal. 
It's a sports car. You either drive it like you stole it or you drive it like your mom is in the passenger seat. It's so easy. The 2020 Supra is less expensive than the 2003 Toyota Supra Turbo, if you count inflation that is. That one today would be $57,000 brand new. And the old one and new one, they both have 3.0 inline six cylinder engines, but this one has 15 more horsepower and 50, that's five zero more pound feet of torque. With all that power and the awesome BMW's dual clutch transmission, this car goes almost a second faster at 3.8 seconds from zero to 60. There's one thing that I think Toyota could have improved on and that's the horn. It sounds like my 1992 Honda Civic. This is not what the BMW Z4 sounds like. <laughs> 1992 Honda Civic, where are you? Go figure. Now for the fun part, let's take the 2020 Toyota Supra by Auto Nation Toyota of Cerritos for a spin. First impression I get is that this car's note is so awesome. You get the loud, low, throaty note, and it snaps, crackles, and pops when you release the gas. The acceleration is so responsive. BMW's twin scroll turbo has gone a long way. The response is almost immediate. I'm kind of thinking that it's the throttle by wire that's causing the lag more than the turbos. I drove the brand new 2020 Z4 over the summer and I gotta tell you the driving experience in this car, the Toyota Supra is more amazing. The Supra comes with adaptive cruise control and active differential like the Z4, but the Supra seems more responsive and has better performance. The Supra has a firmer ride than the Z4, but the Z4 seems more like a touring roadster. You can tell Toyota's focus on the Supra was more about performance than just touring. It's a plug and play and take it to the track type of car. Oh, the Supra is so, so quick. And the sound it makes makes it seem even quicker. The ride is firm and stable around turns. It's really nimble and it pretty much goes where you point it without lean. I'm actually driving this car longer than I have any other car because it's so much fun. <laughs> it's so responsive. This doesn't have a hybrid, it has turbos, right? And there's no turbo lag, I don't feel it. You step on the gas and it goes. There's really no delay. Feels like a regular naturally aspirated car, but it's really quick. And kudos to BMW and Toyota because this car is really awesome. And if you haven't driven one, you need to because boy, this, this car is fantastic. It's tuned perfectly and the sound is like freaking a work of art sounds really good it's music to your ears when you drive this thing you'll just want to um, drive it fast all the time so there you go the most highly anticipated the baddest and the most famous car in the entire world i enjoyed making the video for you if you enjoyed it please click the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel i'm randy see ya